Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, let us see how to find out the derivative of secant x by using the first principle. So let me just write down what is our f of x. f of x is f of x is secant x and f of x plus h is secant of x plus h. Let's substitute in the formula. We will have f dash x equal to limit of f of x plus h that is secant of x plus h minus f of x that is secant of x divided by h. What I will do? I will convert secant into 1 by cos. Always converting into sin and cos will help us easily to solve because we have lot of formulas available to simplify. So I will convert that as 1 by cos of x plus h minus 1 by cos of x divided by h limit h tends to 0. If you simplify that that is equal to cos of x minus cos of x plus h divided by h into cos of x into cos of x plus h. Limit as h tends to 0. This is equal to again one more time limit as h tends to 0 cos c minus cos d cos of c minus cos of d is equal to minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 that is the formula we have minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2. So let us try to substitute it in that formula. We will have minus 2. I have here actually, okay, minus 2 sin of x plus x plus h. So that is 2x plus h by 2 into sin of x minus x minus h by 2 divided by cos x into cos of x plus h into h. We will simplify this further. I will have minus of 2 into sin of x plus h by 2 multiplied by x x cancels sin of minus h by 2 divided by h I have cos of x then I, I also have cos of x plus h this whole thing limit as h tends to 0 now we will separate them we will write it as limit sin of x plus h by 2 divided by cos of x plus h as h tends to 0 multiply with limit of sin of h by 2 divided by h. I will get this 2 down here and sin of minus h is minus. Minus into minus will become plus. Sin of minus h by 2 is minus sin h by 2 but there is another minus that is why it will become plus. So we know this part is equal to 1 
we have forgotten something if you see we have forgotten cos x here cos of x so this is equal to if I substitute h equal to 0 I will have sin of x divided by cos of x into cos of x which is equal to sin by cos is tan 1 by cos is secant so that is secant x into tan x let's look at that again we have to find out the derivative of secant x what we did is we did by first principle secant of x plus h minus secant x by h we know secant x is 1 by cos of x so I have substituted that then I get it in the form of cos of c minus cos of d which is minus of 2 into sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 once we apply the formula we see that sin of h by 2 by h by 2 becomes 1 remaining all by substituting h equal to 0 you will get secant x into tan x now leveraging this how to find out the formula of derivative of cosecant x like what we did in the last sessions what I want you to try out is write cosecant dx as secant of pi by 2 minus x and you know the derivative of secant x so you can write cosecant x as secant of pi by 2 minus x like if you have seen the last two videos where we are doing the similar fashion now derivative of secant pi by 2 minus x will be secant pi by 2 minus x into tan pi by 2 minus x into pi by 2 minus x is minus 1 so you will get minus of cosecant x into cot x now is there any other way we can solve this we can find out the derivative of is there any other way we can find out the derivative of secant x and cosecant x for that you can do 1 by cos x you can take it as you can take this as u by v form or you can take it as 1 by sin x for cosecant x take it as u by v check it out you should get the same value secant x tan x here and cosec minus cosecant x cot x in the next session we will see how to find out from the first principle the derivative of cosecant x but I want you to try out this take u as 1 v as cos x because just now you are learning the formulas it will be like a practice you apply this in u by v formula find out the derivative and see whether you are getting derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x or not so i'll catch you in the next session thanks for your time bye for now